age. He saw me, and I saw him, and, and I was st standing behind a pickup truck for cover, and, and we exchanged, I'm like, it was surreal to me, it, it could, couldn't, be, couldn't be happening. I, I could not believe it. Um, and we, we exchanged gunfire, and I, I, I know I hit him. I, I, I don't know where I hit him, <clears throat> but I know I hit him. And he got into his vehicle, and he fired another couple of rounds through his side window, and I fired, when the window dropped, I fired another round at him again. And one is he was pulling away, and he turned down 539, Farm to Market Road 539, and sped away. And I noticed that there was a four-wheel drive Dodge truck, another truck, sitting at the stop sign. And a guy had watched this whole thing take place. I ran over to his truck, and I said, that guy just shot up the Baptist church. We need to stop him. He opened his door and I got in and we pursued and he had a, quite a lead on us. <coughs> and uh, we chased him down 539 and, and when we first started chasing him, he was out of sight and, and, and the man driving the truck was, was, I found out later, his name is Johnny. He uh, was driving at a high rate of speed and we were trying to pass cars and catch up. And we were called 911, and we were talking to 911 at that point. We did not see, at that point, any officers anywhere. Uh, and they were probably headed to the church at that point. But dispatch, we started talking to. They said, where on 539 is he? And we gave a description when we caught view of him again. And uh, again, we were coming up on him pretty quickly. And, and when we got up closer, he pulled over to the side, of, like he was going to pull off to the side of the road. And he slowed down, and I thought he was going to stop. And I reached down to, to, to open the door, still with my rifle in hand. And he sped up, he hit a, a road sign, it flipped over the truck or his SUV. He ran across, back up on the road about another 100 yards down and down into the bar ditch. And Johnny stopped the truck on the road. And I told him, I said, get down, get down. He got down in the truck and I, got, I stepped out of the door and I put my rifle across the hood of the truck. And, and was yelling, get out of the truck, get out of the truck, get out of the truck. And I never saw any movement or anything from, from it, but I, I, I wasn't gonna let him go anywhere. Um, and finally, the, the police department got there and um, They told him to come out with his hands up, and no response. And I, at that point, I had actually laid the rifle down and started back, and he said, not you. <laughs> so I picked the rifle back up, okay? That's fine if you need to get on. So I hung out there and waited till I saw about six more police officers show up, and they did rather quickly after the first one. And I started to walk back, and he said, no, stay there, stay there, stay there. And I stayed where I was, and they drove one of the, the squad cars up and then gave me cover to walk back with the squad car. Um, 